the biggest struggle that I've faced so far is one that I wasn't really expecting and I literally like cried about it in my car last night because it's been a big struggle. I'm working with all of these incredibly talented girls. I kind of just feel like I like don't deserve to be here because they're so much better. So I've been having to work on that and remember that I deserve to be here as much as everyone else, which has been really hard. I'm pretty exhausted today, not gonna lie. Part of the Young Artists Project is having a lot of different artists who have a lot of different visions, a lot of different talents, and a lot of different opinions. But that leaves a lot of room for people to disagree. I, I walked in day six having finished drafting our first act. Uh, I spent some time on it this morning. Came in, uh, had some notes from the team. Dissatisfied with a piece of it. And you know, as a writer, that really does hit your ego. So I like came in, was like, you know what, Nicole, put the piece ahead of everything else. I think some people tend to get caught up in the little details, and some people are just looking at the big picture, and some people are looking at stuff that we don't think is important, and some people are looking at are not looking at stuff that we do think is important. Today, today was more of a push through sort of day. You know, and, and that's what I really am enjoying about being here and, and being a part of this project is the uh, discipline it takes to go back and go back and go back and go back and go back until it's perfect. Um, which, you know, I, it's good, you know, because that prepares you for Saturday Night Live and all these other, you know, the industry moves so fast, right? So you gotta be like ready to like take rejection and, and ramp something else out, you know, like. We have a final draft, a loose final draft, because Steve still can tell us that we need to change it or start a whole new story. Surprisingly, unlike other days, we did a lot of things up on our feet. We danced a lot. It's a full-time job, but he pays me well. With his loving kisses. I have bruises all over my legs, and they're throbbing and I don't even care. It was cool, it was really cool, you know, getting to uh, work on harmonizing and all that. I was like, oh, I feel like, like an artist. I feel like a performer. Yeah. I hope the show is good. Yeah, because I feel like it is. But right now I've been looking at it so closely for so many days and, you know. Life is good and will be better. Same time next year. I don't know if I did it. Okay. I'm not upset. Okay. I'm Emily, if you don't know. Um, I'm the one behind all of the videos. It's interesting because while they create the, during the day, I record everything and they get really annoyed at me recording everything sometimes. When they leave, it's my turn to create. And today I'm stuck. For myself, when I edit, there's almost this aha moment of inspiration and it's frustrating because it's been two and a half hours and I haven't hit that yet. It's 12.30, I don't have anything right now and we have to be back at 10 a.m. and I feel so stuck right now. I feel like this is a side that I didn't understand just how difficult it can be. Even being behind the camera, I know I'm gonna miss it when it's gone and I think that's what keeps me going. So even though I'm frustrated and I'm anxious and I'm angry that I don't have anything, what better thing to be angry and anxious about than art, than creating. So I'm gonna push through this, it's gonna happen and it's gonna be amazing, just like the show.